Hey, what is going on, everyone? How y'all doing today? Today we're going to be continuing our Beta 11 test build Cogmine stream, which is... This is the first build which had some significant flight changes, which many consider to be an extreme over nerf. Um, maybe they were right because a day or two later, Flight got a significant buff <laughs> to compensate on the energy side, but I decided not to update my game, so we're playing on the before the buff, but after the nerf, um, to see if maybe we can prove a point here. Um, yeah, and we are currently on minus five in the upper caves, so we should be approaching minus four factory soon. We're playing a flight hacking and fabbing build. And yeah. Hey, what up, Xylan? How's it going? Items are so green, you're blinded. Yeah, um, with this build, I'm. A lot of this is freshly fabbed. Stuff that I wasn't fabbed freshly, I was able to repair. Um, I know people like to hate on defensive hackware, but this ghost barrier and quantum router means we could basically repair everything in our inventory anytime I see a repair station. So it's quite easy to keep everything green. Um, wow, we are quite green. The only thing that isn't green is our KE pen. And except for the large storage unit and ghost barrier, everything equipped and in inventory is full integrity. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a pretty good hack stack so far. Now, part of the issues with we have the storage nerfs as or changes as well. Um, it, it ends up being a nerf for our build because um, for the fabbing play style, I like to have more storage. So I can fab things sooner, um, but now we don't have room for everything we fab, so it becomes a nerf for this build. Um, so with that, we actually need to start filling our utility slots with stuff that I would normally use for hackware just because I don't have inventory for it. So we're probably going to start seeing that come to light on the next few floors, um, which is... and. At the same time, as we go up in floors, it gets harder to hack. So, um, I don't think it's going to be a huge issue, but we're going to see that effect for sure. Hey, what up, b -Sun? Welcome. And because I didn't want this run to take, well, it's already taking forever, actually. I, I spent a long time on floors minus 7 and minus 6 last run, although we ended up becoming quite powerful because of it. Um... I got some good hackware and stuff out of it. It, it. it was very, very optimal. Are we not 100% hacking everything with this? Um, I don't remember how we were doing. We're probably pretty high. Trying to pull um, top tier schematics on security level three terminals was still a little difficult. I think we were down to like 20, 30%. Um, pulling the high-end schematics is is quite difficult. I think you need like 140 offensive hackware to like make it guaranteed. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, everything else we're pretty good on. I think like indirect machine, like index machine hacks um, probably aren't guaranteed, but aren't super unlikely. But we'll see once we get to the next floor. Um, but yeah, I don't want to spend a lot of time in caves, so even though it's completely optimal to fully explore caves on this build, I'm going to be kind of trying to zip through them if we can. Oh, and also, so sensors got um, changed earlier this week. Um, it, it's overall a nerf for this kind of build, but it's kind of a buff nerf. The lower end sensors got better and the higher end sensors got worse. So experimental sensor array would only be 20 range on the current version. Um, I'm going to try and emulate that. So if I see long range sensors, I'm going to grab those because that would be equivalent. I actually just got rid of long range sensors on this run. Um, but I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to fab long range sensors to make our build worse. But a lot of people are really hating on the sensor changes and I think... So if you guys were watching this run back on minus seven, I, I played most of that floor with my or with improved sensors, which are only range 13. And I gotta say, that was probably the most interesting stealth gameplay that I've experienced in Cogmind. 
We're using hover too, so it was like 52 speed or something. So it was a little slower than flight normally is. Um, I'm actually gonna do some like low sensor runs after this, I think. Yeah, I think overall the, the update's been pretty good, Xylan. I agree with that. I think the very latest leg and tread nerf sound a little bit too much for, to me. Um, but I was advocating for a higher penalty for legs and treads, mostly treads. Um, but 100 penalty for treads is, it's too much of like a, a binary thing. <laughs> um, it's like a 180 from what it was before, so I feel like that should get toned down to somewhere between 40 and 80. Oh yeah, I saw you posting about your flight runs, Zylan. I'm glad you enjoyed that. It looked like a neat one. Oh, my game still has no audio. Let me fix that. I turned it off in the, the mixer. There we go. Hmm, that's weird. You don't see a lot of these diagonal jokes like that. It's an interesting map gen thing. Ooh. This could be something very good. Hey, what up, Captain Winky? Yeah, we were just admiring how everything's essentially at max integrity on this loadout. This isn't pure nerf anymore with the sensor changes. You should ask Kiz for a build with the high energy cost and low sensor range. Um, oh, did they get higher energy costs? I didn't realize that side of the nerf. Um, I, was, or, I, don't, I don't like calling it a nerf, um, especially because it, it, the some of the sensors got better. But um, I was just saying, if I find long range sensors, I want to put those on to emulate our, the max sensor range we would have in the new version. And actually, I want to wrap up this run because I want to do some low sensor stealth runs, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun gameplay. Oh, the flight energy cost, right? Have I seen this event before? Have you seen a research around here? I tracked these parts before it suddenly disappeared. I wonder what it's up to, and all by itself too. So this is the core expander thing. I don't think I've noticed that brawler before. Uh, notably, the core expander is actually a researcher and not a tinkerer. The brawler's always there, but he dies a lot. Cool. How did you find me? Please don't shoot. I'm a derelict like you now. I just had to learn more about this intriguing device. I wonder how this guy became a derelict. Well, this is sweet. Extra utility slot, I'll take that. We really wanted propulsion or utility out of that. Um, even though I fabbed a bunch of plasma lances and was planning on going like four plasma lances, I think I'm going to stick to one or two. Um, I was trying to do some theory crafting and I think with the changes, it's going to be hard to support more weapons. So basically, even though plasma lances are light at three mass, um, having multiple of these at three mass is a little bit heavy for the the new support um, reduction on flight units. And if you're going multiple weapons, you want to have a um, an actuator array, and that's a little harder to support now as well. So I'm probably just going to run one or two plasma lances in the long run now, which means I've probably wasted some fabs. I think there's a lot of things I could have done a little bit better fab wise so far, but we didn't. I didn't really plan out what my end game thing would be, and now I've kind of thought about it a bit. Um, and there's definitely like better like more schematics I could have grabbed by now, but that's not going to be a big deal. So not getting this event was one of my fears about skipping um, a lot of the caves, but we found it anyways. Um, this is probably the best reward in all of the caves, like including like branches like Zion and DM. Um, 
Yeah. And I almost wish this event wasn't here because without this event, you wouldn't really have to full explore caves, which is really boring and time consuming. Um, but it's like almost like too good not to usually. What do these guys have now? I wonder if their loadout changed. Two anti-graph systems, probably the same. Yep, the experimental sensor array event felt the same way for quite a while, Amica, and I I actually lobbied for it to get removed or changed to like a long range sensor or something. Um, I think with the addition of like the, the drones that you can get in mines now, it's probably less so because those are actually pretty OP. Um, but I still think, especially with the new sensors um, changes, um, that event probably got bumped up a bit um, to making people want to full explore mines again. Uh, but yeah, I've definitely felt the same way about that event for quite a while. Like, I'm sure there are people that, uh, that like restart games until they find that event <laughs> in the mines. Because it's, there's like no loss to restarting a, a run at that point. It's the same way a lot reason a lot of people fight exiles on minus ten, even though it's low probability for a lot of builds. Hmm. Probably gonna have to go around here. I wonder if this connects to something. No, this probably stops here. So the caves are basically built into six sextants um and then if you start in the top right it'll go top right middle top middle bottom middle left so this top left area is always going to be empty and it looks like that stops right around this line so it is pretty unlikely that this connects it might have a connection down here somewhere all right those grunts are running away so it looks like we can just walk over here anyways very kind of them. Dirty bomb traps, we are not corrupted. So we don't have to fear about setting those off. devices vocal shield that's decent but i'd rather just not get shot than rely on that i think vocal shields are probably pretty good end game now that um like force fields and stuff are harder to carry so i'm probably gonna try to fit in an experimental focal shield in my like end game build Should take this off in case we run into enemies. Oh, why am I overweight? That's awkward. Do this. We're good. We even got a, a buddy here. Oops. Makeshift hacking suite. Um, do I want this hacking suite? It's my inventory. I can ditch the KE pen and grab that. Maybe I'll use it last, next run. Focal shield super nice versus MC. Yeah. I mean, think about how much damage that cuts off of the, the Omega Cannon. Hey, what up, Wrinkle? What's going on, dude? I saw you made some, uh, some big sales in the uh, Collector Emitter Discord earlier. Always a great feeling. Probably gonna buy a guitar. What kind of guitar are you looking at? 
Did you buy so many guitars? <laughs> Tone Del Sol. Not familiar with that. What an awkward squad of grunts. Where am I? Okay, there's probably ways around here. Advanced Drone Bay. Well, we're not gonna be carrying that. If I wanted, I could let these roam free while I sit here to explore for us, but we don't really need them to do that for us. Um, I guess we get to fight these swarmers. Let's range on this. I do like... Oh, this might be perfect. This is guided too. I can do like that. Mm. Not quite. Can't get the angle I want with my range. Well, here we go. Oh no, unreliable sensors screwed us there. All right, we're gonna take a hit here. Um, that's fine. Oh, we didn't even get hit actually. Did I take any damage? How did I get out of that without taking any damage? Oh my god. What pro mini smart bomb hits? Just enough wall to, to leave us unscathed, even though we were well within the radius for two of those shots. Is this thing... Oh, quite a bit of heat, huh? Let's cool down. Nobody mentioned this thing for beta 11. Yeah, where's like the big guided launcher nerf? Sorry, but I need some matter. Zhirov, sweet. Max, I just get mm, nothing we care about. Those um, prototype IDs we just got reminded me that we are we have been vastly underusing the the prototypes terminal hack this run. We get so many free hacks at terminals with all of our defensive hackware. Um, I should have been using that more. Plus 20 heat dissipation. I will take that because this build's going to need um, heat dissipation late game. And the 
this is Transdimensional Reconstructor, AKA the Telly. Oh yeah, you can get locked out for doing it indirectly, right? Oh my god, a system shield? We we can't use more defensive hackware. That, that, I forgot about that. That's a good reason not to use that, that hack when you're trying to get schematics. Three prototype flight units? Cold nuclear pulse thrusters? Um... This minus two support is probably a deal breaker for us at the moment. Overall, not bad. The, the cooled thrusters are pretty good in this version. I was looking at how good cooled Q thrusters are. Because they're, they're 30 speed, the cooled Q thrusters. And they're at seven support and versus eight. And then you can you can turn them on when you need to, and they don't generate as much heat, no upkeep heat at least. Um, they're pretty cool. I think for this build, we're gonna have to stick with our normal Q thrusters for now, though. Heavy antimatter, definitely not using that. Cold Q are great for fighting in place, ten support. Oh, you mean if you're going to, like, equip a, a gun and stand still or something? Yeah, it's kind of weird how you can use cooled propulsion with no penalty if you stand still. I feel like that should get changed. <laughs> um, but it's definitely something you can do. Sparkle Accelerator is pretty cool. More prop shielding. Oh, is this energy... Hmm, energy well. Oh no, this is my prop shielding, duh. Okay, we're not taking the system shield. Do I want this energy or this energy well? I feel like I'm gonna want energy wells late game. Yeah, you don't get burn if you don't move. So a common thing that Flight wants to do is like camp a doorway and then like equip a, a weapon, and that usually puts them overweight. But if you're doing that, you can turn on your your cooled propulsion. You get more support so you're not overweight, and since you're not moving, they don't have a chance of um, burning out and losing integrity, and you get to maintain your flight bonus because you're not underweight, your flight evasion bonus. Um, so it's pretty cool. Definitely cheesy. Yeah, S7 guards would be a good example of where you might use that. Does Cogmine ever go on sale? Yeah, it usually goes on sale uh, whenever there's a new release and in some of the big, big sales. I don't like. I don't know if it went on sale for the last uh, winter sale. It's usually like twenty percent, I think, or maybe ten, like Zylan said. It doesn't go on extreme discounts, so I think it's probably worth buying whenever you feel like playing it. Because uh, you're, I mean, different countries are different, so here you're probably saving a couple of dollars. But I think it's well worth it, uh, even at full price. I don't think I'd take the energy well because... Well, I probably want just experimental energy wells later. We might get experimental energy wells from the pot cannon lab if we get it. Or we can fab some later. It's only 600. It's actually not that big of a difference. I think I did your Plasma Lance since I decided I'm not going more than two weapon slots. And I, I doubt we lose any these at any point. So I'll, I'll just do Plasma Lance and grab this energy well for now. Alright, so what's on the ground here? Nothing we're going to take. Um, anything here we want to try and get parts from? No. I could take this data jack so we can data jack a surf on the next floor to find waste. But 
Is that actually worth dropping anything for? Probably not. Maybe? I mean... Um, because we actually do want to find waste right away. And finding another a data jack somewhere else could be unreliable. Uh, maybe I do try and take that. Well, he might not even drop it. So let me do this first. Okay, yeah, we don't even have to think about it. Hey, what up, Taraka? Welcome. Let's get out of here. All right, we want to do this sensor swap. And I probably want to refill on matter. What did I do before? I can't do that anymore. No Lance, but I was able to fill. What did I do differently? I had like an extra slot that I, I swapped something into. All right, we want more matter though. Yeah, I didn't have the prop shielding equipped along with the light armor plating. And then I didn't have the makeshift hacking suite or the, the alien artifacts. So I don't have enough slots to do what I did last time. Tempted to walk in here with just the smart bomb launcher equipped. Okay. We did not have to use it. All right, we spawn top left. That's a lot of swarmers. They just look like bowling pins in my mini smart bomb launcher, though. How do I get down? This middle quadrant or sextant should have a path down. I have to go up to get down. No. Yeah, through here. It was a little sketchy. look like it does look like there's a wall that goes across these guys okay even better wall for us although this is probably open but we can sneak through here oh my god this is a terrible loadout for this map Swarmers can most likely see up here. Hmm, 
I was wondering if maybe this connected. Maybe I can go around this outpost. Although, there's probably a sight line right here. And there's more swarmers down here, jeez. But these ones I can actually smart bomb. I can't smart bomb any of these without waking up the outpost. And there's a sentry here that would see me if I try to go through this way. These guys will see me. Oh, what a brutal way to get through here. All right, let's count tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So technically, if I dug through these three tiles, I would be outside of their current line of sight. Assuming they don't move. So I think that is the play here. Coming up now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, if we wait long enough, they will move somewhere eventually. But if like either of these three swarmer groups come here, we probably smart bomb them. So it's probably not the worst thing, but let's keep an eye on these guys a little bit longer. Oh my god, there's more to the right. Main.c is like, flight bot detected in caves. Dispatch the swarmers. Hey, what up, Drake? Thank you for the subscription, dude. Nine months. Yeah. Our first Twitch baby. Oh, you get a new sword, too. I could smart bomb these guys now. Actually, I can leave... ...this way now. Maybe? Okay, we've repositioned. We probably want to just smart bomb here. If they go up, then we can not smart bomb and avoid it. But if they come down, then we're going to wish we smart bomb them here than when they're like in front of us. Looks like they're moving. To the right, maybe? There was probably a point here where I could have gone this way again.
Although at any point where I could go this way, I can't get back to this position. Because I'll either get seen here or here by swarmers here or here. Okay, these guys look like they're coming over here. I'm just going to bomb them now. You know how we want to play this? Because this guy might not be here with our sensors. There's a good chance he's not there. Let's do that. Perfect. That way it was going to come back this way and hit either a swarmer in the path or like the first wall here. And it's likely that he was within like two tiles of that. Can't refill our matter because of that other swarmer patrol, but I will take this as a win. Dude, there better be a way around this behemoth. Can you show map? I um, assume you mean world map? Sure thing. We've basically just been going, going through all the caves and then looping waste in all the factory floors. Oh, we got a lot of intel up here. Testing Q then S7. Interesting. All right. You know, what's kind of cool is I was trying to plan like our late game build. But a lot of like what we end up wanting for utilities is very dependent on what we get in S7 and Q. Um, heat and energy, alien artifacts matter a lot. Um, if we find Sidric's broad Broadsword, that changes things a lot because we have a, a nice lightweight armor source that's regenerative and a decent weapon. Um, if we get um, LRC artifacts that give either support or inventory space, and not, not as much inventory, but like support, that changes things. So we can't really plan our like final final build until we get through here for sure. We do have a vague idea. Um, you watched the previous two VODs, wanted to see what you missed joining here today. Oh cool, I'm glad you're uh, enjoying the VODs. And yeah, I basically just played through this cave's area right here. We got Zerov. And um, we got the Heat Artifact, which is going to be helpful because I think every iteration of an endgame build we have um, has Heat issues with no help. Um, so that could save us a slot for a cooling system or something later. Is live going to be on minus four? I think so, because I don't think we've seen extension yet. Oh, wait, no, we don't know where armory is. So extensions should be on minus four. I don't know if armory is going to be on three or four. We can't really make use of lab, though. Because I'm not going to go there without... You know what? We might take lab over testing. If extension is here and armory is on minus three, that's an intriguing option. Extension's tough on our build. Oh, that's interesting. Three K score to sneak past armory. Yeah, that's an option. Um, I don't really know what we want from Warlord. I'm not gonna take his event, and I'm not gonna take VCR or anything like that. So it's really just like if he has any decent stuff in his stash. Oh, nice. Good luck with that tutorial, Taraku. Are you going to do a 7DRL or anything, or are you just doing um, general stuff? I know a lot of people have been looking at that for 7DRL recently. Research terminal until sweet. All right, let's get out of here. What are we going to evolve? We had decided two utility slots last stream, uh, and part of that was because I was going to use... Um, uh, we need energy and support. So I was going to equip, um, get a mass support utility and a, an improved fusion compressor. So we are going to solve both of those problems with utility slots instead of slots that are supposed to be used for those things. 
Um, I saw on Discord a lot of people are saying that mass support utils are too cheesy right now. So I think to keep this uh, this run pure, I'm going to forego any mass support utilities. Which makes me wonder if I do want another prop slot on this floor. Especially since we got a CE core expanded utility slot. Not confident enough to pull something off in seven days yet. Not enough experience. Cool. Either way, I'd like to give that tutorial a try sometime too. Getting peer pressure into a weaker build. Yeah, so when I do some of these runs with like challenges, I'm always like... I always want to take on like all like the... The associated challenges and I feel like it makes... It ends up making some of the runs like a little boring because you just like don't have any options to do things. So lately when I do challenge runs, I I leave a lot of like fun options open just to, to let us be flexible and be able to have more fun with it. Um, and since mass support utilities got nerfed already, they're, they're no stack. And I believe, I don't know if they're actually gonna change or not. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but um, I'm fine with not using them for this run. If at the very least it helps prove a point. Um, yeah, I, I always thought having one mass support utility was a cool option because I've had runs where I'd slap them on for like a floor or two just as a stopgap until I got more propulsion or like change my build in some other ways. And I always thought that was a cool way of using them. Um, the way that they can be used currently, which is to give you mass support, but like none of the energy downsides of having propulsion on fast builds is really broken. So I feel like no stack was a decent compromise for that. Now, maybe they are too strong on flight builds now that flight got large support nerfs. Um, so I don't really know where we end up with that. Crazy good on flight and terrible for everything else. Um, they're, they're really good on wheels too, because they give you more support than any of the wheels for a slot, which, which makes a big difference. Um, but yeah, most people use them to cheese flight. I don't like how you can invalidate any of the upkeep costs of flight by using mass support utilities instead of flight units. Because flight units, um, they have energy per move. So most flight builds end game that will use mass support utilities are between 10 and 20 speed, which means they have 10 to 20 moves per turn, which means they have 10 to 20 energy <laughs> and heat upkeep per turn. To manage um, and mass support utilities completely invalidate that because they only proc once per turn. Uh, this is not the new computer, Drake. I'm gonna try and build that tomorrow. And actually, I might end up streaming Cogmine tomorrow morning or early afternoon, I guess, because I don't know if we're gonna finish this run today, and I'd like to finish it this weekend. So. I'll probably, we may end up doing a short Cogmine stream just to wrap this up tomorrow, depending on how much is left. And then hopefully I can build my computer after that. I don't think it's gonna take too long to build my new PC. All right, I think we're gonna one prop, one utility here is what we just decided. Um, one prop does let me get another thruster out of my inventory and it gives a little bit more flexibility with what we have equipped. We're a little tight right now. I can't even put armor on without taking off my, my plasma lance. Um, we can't even put on our transmission jammer. By the way, I still can't believe people were telling me that Transmission Jammer was droppable last week. Guys, Transmission Jammers are awesome. Support utils are actually more energy expensive now. Yeah, with those um, those, those flight buffs that were made on energy, probably changed it a lot. I, some of the, the builds I've been seeing, it's kind of amazing how little energy flight and hover uses now compared to before. Nothing better than drinking in PC building. Sip some Basil Hayden and build some crazy system. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to keep liquids away from the build, but yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll make an old fashioned or something. Put, put on some good music and just um, get in the zone and build a PC. I like it.
All right. Um, this guy spawn with a, a brawler there. That's pretty cool. So he's taking this guy to a shoot, although he's not necessarily near a shoot. Advanced ECM is pretty sweet. But it's worth picking up, although I think we're going to play Flight more careful now that it's a little more fragile. Um, and more prone to like variants than previous Flight versions. So, because I just rather than not get seen, I feel like this does lose some value. Um, there's a Fusion Compressor. We already have one Fusion Compressor. Um, I don't have a data jack to data jack this surf. Micro nuke. Segregator is gross. Can we cut through here? Looks like it's probably a little too far. Nope, nope we can definitely cut through. Advanced melee analysis. We want the experimental. Um, did not expect that operator to be so close. Can we juke this ar this operator to their terminal? Repair station. I think everything I have is in pretty good shape. Not worth repairing. There's extension. Oh, what intel did we get? Emergency access and extension entrance, okay. No love for cloaking device. I don't think we can fit it on our build. And the base one is only two. So at the moment, yeah, not a ton of love for it. It is only a mass one. Like, I could actually like carry it right now. Looking is better with sensor nerf. I think all the stealth utilities are better with the sensor nerf. I'm, I'm, I am stoked to try the new sensors. Um, I, like, I, I actually think they're gonna make gameplay so much more interesting. Like what I was doing in caves back there, just camping while there were like swarmers, like halfway, like all the way across the screen, screen and just waiting for them to like move out of the way. Like, that was boring stealth gameplay. Like, people call that stealth, but it's so, like, uninteresting and, like, easy. Like, there's no thought required. I think the new, like, having short-range sensors, actually having to play around terrain and sight lines and walls is going to be so interesting. Ooh, advanced terrain scan processor. That's pretty all right. We're probably going to start looking for terrain scanning soon. To fill up our utility slots since we're not going to have inventory slots to put them in. Okay, this is probably this guy's terminal. I think we just blow it up. This might be a level 3 terminal though, but it's guarded by a sentry, which I don't want to deal with. Watch there be a terminal right here, which there very well might be. Okay, here's the extension prefab with the terminal. We can't actually use that terminal right now. Um, let's cut through here just in case there is another terminal here. Oh, and this, I mean, this terminal we can't use. That's in this prefab because it's a door terminal. So it provides no value to us. Okay. Yeah, so this wasn't his terminal. So I'm glad we cut through this way. Pretty sure this is his terminal. Um, and we know it is because he didn't turn green. Let's get a simulate Trojan on here right away. Most excellent. Um, I don't need locate traps anymore because this guy's got our back. Titan analysis. This is actually kind of good if we have to go through extension. 
Or we decide to. I'm gonna take that. Um, and how about... Let's get a botnet. Tracking Trojan, because there is a Watcher around here. Um, let's get Index. I'm gonna go straight for Machines, which are a little greedy. But we got it nonetheless. An operator's Trojan. What else do we want? Manifest. Eight improved fusion compressors. That's pretty dope. Probably gonna grab that. It does have an escort, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. With our repairing abilities, we could probably just fight this escort with the plasma lance and not really care about any consequences of it. There is a chance we like lose hackware that way. Um, cooled proton cannon. Probably gonna want EM to maybe fight a seven guard. Although we probably don't want heavy regen plating. Um, if I do eight. Q thrusters later, we can actually support heavy regen plating, but it's gonna be at the cost of like a force field. I think I'd rather go like two medium centriums and like a force field and a focal shield or something. I was looking at some stuff. Um, yeah, there is an improved fusion compressor without uh, an escort. That's even better. Good call. Cold phase cannon that can open doors really well, but it can also fry our hackware when we use it, which is annoying. Hmm. It's good to know about those uh, fusion compressors. Uh, I am curious about branch access. Okay, armory is here, so we can't do lab with extension combo. So I'm not sure where we end up going branch wise this stuff. Warlord, Extension, and Armory are all pretty meh. Oh yeah, Shield Gen's a really good option, Aeomica. I forgot I, I did want to consider that. Prototype hack? Um, this one. Prototype ID bank. I'm still like 99% positive that you can get locked out for pulling schematics from these. If that's the case, it probably applies to prototypes, so I'm actually a little afraid to use this. Although the chance is probably zero with my defensive hackware. Is there a hack to track the haulers? Yeah, it's Trojan haulers at a fabricator. You can also throw on their transport network coupler if you kill one temporarily, and it'll give you the location of all of them on the map until you take it off, which you probably will because it's not a great use of a utility slot. Nothing exciting here. No prototype stockpiles. That hack continues to be worthless. Um, shooting does reset terminal lockouts. Yep. Alright, I think I'll leave this terminal up. I don't think there's anything else I really want from it right now. We pretty much got like everything we could want. I want to save my schematic hacks for level 3 terminals, which should be more common now. Oh, I put a botnet on it. That was the first thing I did. Heavy neutron cannon? That is better than our neutron cannon. I don't think it hits any breakpoints for opening walls. I forget what research wall armor is. Like 32 or 34 or something like that. I'm gonna grab it regardless.
as well go lock this garrison while we're nearby. Security status hack lets you see which terminals are guarded. Mildly useful. Yeah, it's a decent one. Um, but with sensors, I don't think we really need that. Crude focal shield. Oh, shoots are here. Seal that bad boy up. Uh, I think we swap out this prop shielding for full time transmission jamming. Although I leave this off because it's an energy deficit. Trojan detonate. <laughs> uh, we'll pass on that. Okay, I'm going to sit here with my transmission jammer on. Actually, do I fight this watcher real quick? That is one dead watcher, and this is one level three terminal. All right, what schematics are we looking at? on this death. Let's think for a second. We have access to what? Eight, eight star, eight prototype rating items here. Is that right? Seven base, yeah. So rating nine slash eight prototype. Yeah, Trojan Haulers is a hack that you can put on Fabricators. Um, you can do enumer Enumerate Transport on tr Terminals as well, which is pretty useful. Um, so interesting things that become available on this floor are Centrium Armor, um, Experimental Transmission Jammer, Experimental Power Amplifier, which we're probably not going to do. I'm going to sit on one power slot and use Fusion Compressors for power if I need more. Spectral Analyzer, which I don't really care about. EM Dispersion Field is available here. Experimental Focal and Thermal Shields are available. And we can also pull Advanced Reaction Control System, which is a rating nine item. Um, an Advanced Cloaking Device is available here as well, which is the same um, sight range reduction as Experimental Cloaking. That's pretty nice. Hey, welcome, Athros. Good to see you, dude. I'm using pre-nerf fabbing and pre-already nerfed sensors with mega bad flight units. Yo, Q thrusters are actually kind of good now. They're they're the same support as all the other top end. They have the highest support per slot, um, tied with every other um, flight unit, which is pretty cool. But they're slow and they have really bad coverage and integrity. But hey, just don't get hit. What's nice about these compared to all the prototype Q thrusters is you can actually repair them because they're only rating eight instead of nine star. Um, so with that in mind, what do I end up fabbing this floor? I honestly would probably start fabbing like terrain scanners and stuff this floor, or things I can fill my slots with now instead of later. So let's pull, um... God, there's not a lot of stuff at this tier that I even care about. Maybe I should have evolved two prop slots after we got that CE utility slot so I could support bigger storage. No, we're not going to get to huge storage or high cap because it's plus 
20 mass. Yeah, we're not gonna get get that high that easily. Not not if we're avoiding um, mass support utils. Yeah, end game here is fabbing a melee build. Although, I think it's gonna be like a melee Benny Hill hybrid. An A zero where we kind of pick and choose our fights, but run for most of the units that are slower. Although I think we can get faster than Architect if I end up eight eight prop slots. I don't know if we're actually going to need that many though. We're going to be at around Architect speed though, probably. Like eight Q thrusters is nineteen speed, I think. So we're probably going to be right around that mark. So, so in A0, we probably mostly shoe Architect when we want to and fight the, the A-bots themselves. Have you ever tried fabbing Nanoswords and trying to sever Ark's prop to feel yourself? I have not. His prop is pretty low coverage relative to his build, right? I wonder how often you actually get to cut off his prop like that. I feel like you might take too much attrition to other points of your build, but that, that is an interesting option. What prop does he even have now? It, does he have grav jets now? It changed from what he used to have. Cooled linear grav jets. Oh, so they're still cooled. That's actually a really good prop. 2% coverage each. Yeah, it doesn't seem very sustainable. Well, with a hover build, you're probably using like heavy regen plating and lots of defensive stuff. So you might not take as much attrition. Armor is 44%, so that coverage does go up a bit um, once you take out a... If you have like a Armor Integrity Analyzer, which you should. And he has like six of those now. <laughs> Maybe not quite that many, but he has a bunch. Hmm. That is interesting. I think Nanosaurs are still really good. The, the main reason I don't use them on my hacking builds is that they're higher rating than Plasma Lances. So you can start fabbing Plasma Lances earlier. Wow, this is weird. I don't have any high priority schematic targets on this floor. Like, I almost want to just, like, get lower rating schematics. Well, I, I may as well try for the higher ones here, but I don't mind, like, wasting these level 3 terminals as much. Level 3 terminals are more common here, too. All right, I'll just go down the list. Um, how about... No, not Centurion Great Sword. I'll grab Centurion Medium Armor Plating, because I think I might end up using that late game. And then... May as well get like advanced reaction control system, even though those are pretty common on the ground. Keep our options open. Oh, EM dispersion field is really solid. Um, oh, I want experimental focal shield. That's probably the first thing I should have grabbed. It's probably the best rating eight prototype heal here. How about experimental thermal as well? I don't know if I end up using that. Okay, I'd probably get locked out here. Look, like I was going up 25% each. System purifier. Um, I'm probably not going to fab one. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have corruption purging utilities on hand. Alright, what else do we want to do here? I think I may as well scandalize this alien artifact. Let's see Aomika's build here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I gotta look at the shield generator. I can grab that here as well. Because we might want to go with that over force fields. The, the loose... Here, I'll sh share with you guys the loose um, template for a build I was looking at earlier. Um, how do I pull this up? Sorry, one second, guys. I want to get this on screen. All right, that looks good enough. So this is what I was toying around with earlier. The thing is, a lot of what we end up doing depends on what kind of alien artifacts we get. So there's like a lot of flexibility here, but um, I just wanted like a rough idea of what we might be able to support on different builds. So we're going to end up with, obviously I don't want to go with Q Thrusters. Um, so I, we might fill some slots with them, but we're probably going to fab like improved Q Thrusters or cooled Q Thrusters. Um, the cooling system we probably don't need now that we got one heat artifact. I think I might end up relying on Matter Dry for energy. Um, but improved fusion compressor is also an option. You can see we have a lot of mass here, so I could actually cut back on the Q thrusters, but this build could also support heavy regen plating. At the cost of like not being able to use like a force field or something. Util shielding plus matter drive is kind of anti-synergistic. Well, we don't want to lose the matter drive if we're relying on it. And that's just like extra armor integrity in the util shielding. I don't think it's that bad. Obviously you do burn through it a lot faster, but it's still protecting all of our fragile parts and it's giving our matter drive more integrity. So I think util shielding is fine. Um, but if we get like IRs, that kind of changes like how we use things here. Q thrusters are more fine over like lower coverage, higher integrity um, flight units if we have IRs. Matter drive tends to get shot off after the other high coverage utilities. Well, it's got higher integrity, but lower coverage in most stuff. Um, I think I definitely use the util shielding with matter drive though. Like we, we wouldn't want to use this if I'm relying on it for energy. Um, but yeah, the things that we end up playing with here are um, if I want to equip force fields, energy gen shields, um, focal f shield, um, energy well we might want. Especially, actually, we, we need an energy well if we're going to use a force field. Um, the things that might not end up being necessary are like the prop shielding. Um, this has both reaction control system and phase shifter, so it's got like a pretty big evasion stack. So maybe that's something that we end up swapping out for, for other damage mitigation like the force fields and focal shields. Um, the cooling system probably goes with alien artifacts, um, so that might be an open slot. Um, there's a lot of flexibility here depending on what we end up doing, but this is kind of like what I was looking at Late game. We don't need two plasma lances if I need that three extra mass, but we're gonna have the weapon slot unless Unless we get that new item that lets you remove Like rearrange slots then I could go one weapon slot So it probably ends up looking something like that this is a rough idea of what I was kind of looking at. 
I'm gonna keep that as a framework in the the back of my head as we we get closer to what our, our final build actually ends or is gonna be. But a lot of it's gonna depend on the alien artifacts, so we're gonna wait till there before we like really start thinking about it. Does this cut through? Does not. Those hunters are a little scary. Disruptor and heavy disruptor cannon. What a room. What do we have? We have a fabricator here right next to the chutes. I almost just want to use this for fabs and leave. I don't think we have a lot of... What's the proper term? Like bandwidth for fabbing? Basically, we don't have a lot of stuff we want to fab. And we don't have... like inventory slots and stuff for, for fabs, so... Uh, the main things we'd be looking at are things that we could replace, and, like, so... In this situation, it'd be great to just start fabbing, like, propulsion replacements, but we can't get any of the, the high-rating propulsion yet. Um, we could start doing, like, better hackware, but I don't think there's a huge advantage of that. We'd probably get, like, three experimental hacking suites if we really wanted to go that route. Um... Now, things that are droppable in my inventory are this hacking suite, probably the transdimensional reconstructor, honestly. Maybe I, s I trade out my light armor plating for medium centrium right away, because I can probably support it with this extra Q thruster now. Um, we can swap out fusion compressor for improved fusion compressor. This ECM suite's an extra inventory slot. So I have like three or four inventory slots to play with. Experimental hack is pretty good for consistency with the defensive protos. Yeah, so I used to not like ha um, fabbing it, even like when you had the schematic, because it, it uses a lot more matter from the fab network than these hacking suites, and it's only 14 to 16. Um, and I can build advanced hackware on minus seven. So I usually just use that for the rest of the game and just like pretty much only fab it on that floor. But now that we're kind of restricted on inventory, we want to start filling our utility slots with end game items that we're going to be using earlier because we can't put it in our inventory. So I think upgrading these experimental is a pretty good move. And if I upgrade all of these, that's another 10, 10 hackware, 10 hacking, which is really nice. Printing experimental hack suites in armory used to be meta. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting idea too. We actually don't know what branch we want on this floor yet. Um, fabbing in, in armory is actually a, a decent option for this build if we did have something like that we wanted to do. Um, I want to run around collecting more schematics first here though, and we're going to decide what we want to do. There's a lot of lower rating schematics I need now, like um, terrain scanning, uh, melee analysis suites. And the like that we can still grab. It's our Herf Cannon, a little bit too early for it, I think. Let's start carrying one around. There's an advanced thermal shield, which has the same resistance of the experimental one. This has to connect to a room, right? Okay. Um, you cannot scanalize prototype hackware now. It is inschematicable, as we say. Oh my god. Allies are so dumb. go next. Probably cut around here. Uh, we just want to go to terminals. And then I don't have an operator. It's actually a little bit scary exploring because of traps. Around 
that sentry. Oh, the sentry's in a nasty position too. Does not connect easily, or safely I should say. There might be a connection like up here. Oh yeah, the proto hackware is not derelict. That that is correct. Oh yeah, it'd be stupid OP if you could fab it. This is like an Ionic Axe or something like that. System Restoration Module. I might pick that up right now over this hacking suite, which I don't think I'm gonna use. Oops. Hey, what up, introvert? Nice to see ya. And I can't use this terminal, right? No. Ouch. That is why I liked my operator friend. Um, it hit us in the storage, which is fine. And this Q thruster can be repaired, and we also have backups. Um, so no real harm done. Guess I'll go repair that right now. Surprising we got scan or uh trace there right away or detected programmers that was my bad i should have been chilling closer to this terminal it could have come right out of hmm maybe this isn't a that might be caves i actually haven't checked what that is yet oddly enough That is research. It's a good thing they didn't come from there. When you were playing Beta 11 Flight, you noticed that running out of integrity on small slash medium storage wasn't exactly uncommon. The fact that can kind of happen just proves the notion of flight can't take lots of damage. I mean, yeah, you must have been taking a lot of hits um, for that to be able to happen, right? that Q thruster was yellow, it would be gone right now, though. Oh, yeah, it took 26 damage, which is over half. That's why we keep our build minty clean. I almost don't even want to explore the rest of this level. Should I just use this fabricator and shoot? Like, let's just get out of here. I don't like this floor. What's, um... Is this terminal still good? What, what was this one? Security level one. I can't pull the hacking suite here. I like the train scanner. Our little train scan processor. Oh man, there's shock traps right there that my buddy didn't tell us about. Okay, traps. For the hacking suite schematic. Um, what other low rating schematics do I think I want? Let's think for a second.
Uh, powered armor is an option. Like, should I run powered armor over sentry and medium late game? That's an interesting option. It's actually almost... One powered armor slot is actually almost as much in coverage as two medium centriums. It's 400 versus 450. It's probably better. It's actually lighter too. Um, oh, improved fusion compressor I can grab here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab Experimental Melee Analysis Suite. Oh, can I get that here? What rating is that? I thought it was kind of low. Mm, guess I can't grab it here. That's fine. I wasn't really going to need to fab it right away. Um, yeah, you should be able to repair advanced powered armor. Now, advanced powered armor is 15 mass, and regular powered armor is 20 mass, which is a little awkward. Alright, so we're going to fab on this floor. I feel like terrain scanning is interesting. Um, I could upgrade my fusion compressor. Because terrain scanning, I'll probably just start slotting in right right away. Um, and then experimental hackware looks good. Um, I could get some utility shielding to slot into my inventory for now. Okay, when are we expecting a refill? Around 23,690. So the next one would be 24,190-ish. We're pretty close. I wish there was an AA that doubled prop integrity or something like that. That'd be insane with siege mode. Replicate phase director and equip both and phase armor. That'd be nuts. Yeah, core actually gets really problematic um, if you use those phase utilities too much, though. Alright. All right, let's just chill for a bit. Ooh, 1320 matter. Love to see that. I'm gonna go ahead and start with an improved fusion compressor. We got traced, that is unfortunate, or detected, I should say. Which means I'm probably. I should probably just do experimental hacking suites after this. Because I can probably fab like three of these and leave the floor without having to. If I have to keep swapping out schematics, we're gonna um, run out of detection here. So we want to do something that we want to fab multiples of, and that's, I think, the one thing on our mind right now. A 
Fusion compressors are kind of stupidly OP. Forty energy per turn, like what? I wish we could have, like had an engine that did close to that. Less OP with halved movement costs. Yeah, I guess relatively they're less um, important now. But like anything that gives energy just got like devalued because of that, right? And for all the defensive hackware haters, let it be known that we probably would not have any ability to fabricate more on this right now. We, we might not have been able to fab anything after the improved fusion compressor. Wow. That is the problem with using one fabricator, is that you're more likely to get cut out while you're fabbing. That was a little unlucky there. done with this floor, right? Into the shoots we go. Oh, I should have gotten matter. Oh well. Oh, I hope this doesn't get fried. I would take this. What do I end up dropping for that? My armor? No, because I'm not going to be able to support it right away. Probably the ECM suite. Good. Uh, what I was concerned is that I drop this and then the EMP would go and fry both of these. Be brave, drop the telly. Um, I actually think the telly is very droppable. We probably end up dropping it next floor when we start fabbing. I'm just keeping my options open for armory, which is also on this depth. But I don't think we have enough that we want to fab that going to armory is even worth it. It would be if we had more storage slots to actually fill it with, but um, since I can't like start replacing my propulsion, um, like I think we're pr pretty much gonna have all the fabs we want at the end of next floor anyways. Um, this is not a great shoots layout. It's gonna actually be a little scary floating through here. I'm gonna wait a few turns to regen energy. Uh, nope, that stays off. And we're going to run. Um, these are speed 205. Did they get buffed? Oh, yeah. What are they like with the treads version? A 207. This is the, the newer curve, I guess. They're at like 260 now, aren't they? In the current version. Oh, <laughs> that could be bad. Oh, I should have camped with my restoration module on for a few turns, but that's not a big deal. Um, we do slot that in over this for now. And 
anything good in here? Not really. Uh, we want to attract recyclers, which there should be some around here. Let me go ahead and drop something. No recycler yet, huh? I didn't want to sit too far, too long there without a terminal or anything. Um, advanced force booster. Botnet. Let's get track with those. Having a terminal in a corner is kind of bad with tracking, but there are two watchers nearby. Let's slap that on there. Um, let me get an operator's trojan. Let's go greedy again and go straight for the machine index. Greed rewarded. It's not that greedy with our epic hacking defense, honestly. And I guess we want exits on this floor because we're going to be actually be leaving and not going to shoots. Anything interesting in haulers? Nope. How about... Stockpiles? No. And no. Okay. Oh. I forgot the ever important. And... Let me do this to increase the range on this hack. You want to locate traps. And yes, it the distance is based on paths through walls, so opening walls before using that hack actually increases your chance of finding traps in certain areas. It's based on a, a walking distance from the terminal. So if there was a trap right here, it would have to go all the way around here. If you open the wall, it can go right here. It's kind of silly. <laughs> it, it makes no sense, I feel like. But I don't think enough people like know about it or care about it for it to like change. Um, do I just camp here and purge all my corruption? I think we can with essentially no penalty. Um, unless these guys come by. What are they doing? Maybe we keep moving. I'll do that at another terminal. I still need matter. Uh, let's go repair this powered armor. Actually, scanalizing it sounds pretty good, too. Although there's no way I ever wear two advanced powered armors. I don't think scanalizing this has any value. Unless this one gets shot off. But I don't think that's very likely, either. Energy. It's because I, I had to turn on that fifth Q thruster.
Hold up. No, come back, Mr. Recycler. Thank you. Alright, we need to stay near terminals, because I don't want to get caught out by, um, with an X-Term. And there are not a ton of terminals here. There are down here. This upper right corner is pretty sparse on its own. Let's see if we can get down to this area. And we're looking at fabricator-wise. Some here. Where's our exit? I still don't know where I want to go. Do we go to caves just because? I can't get into the Warlord stash anymore without him seeing us. Without risking a cave-in with our melee weapons, because I'm not going to dig into his reinforced walls with a Neutron Cannon. So I don't think checking the Warlord stash is even valuable at this point. It could have, like, prototype hackware and maybe a good utility, but I don't think that's the, the chance of that is worth it. You can use Vortex weapons. Oh, that's a good point, Treads. Vortex weapons is a good way to get in. I had forgotten about that. Um, it's that we could repair and or we could fab an armory. Maybe we do just go to armory to fab. That's got value to it. I just wish we had like better propulsion schematic. Uh, main reason to do caves is core expander rule if you don't want to do armory. Yeah, it's a pretty good reason. I did get core expander in the last caves though, so that's not even on the table. There's like zero value from caves right now. I could go to extension and kill Alpha 7 for his hackware and medium regen plating. But I'd have to run past the behemoths and sentries there. Well, I can get lab code, but they're on the same floor, so I can't actually use both. If armory was on next floor, I would do that 100%. It's too bad that they did line up like that, because this, this would totally be a lab run. If extension and armory were on the same floor. Hey, what up, Luigi? Nice to have you here. I am glad that you are glad that we are streaming. I think armor is the move here. I could probably greet out and drop like one Q thruster too. If we want like more slots. Yeah, we're kind of deciding on a branch here, Luigi. We have Warlord, Armory, and Extension on this floor. Yeah, I don't really want to do Hub. I think going through all of Cetus into Hub is probably a little dangerous. And like you said, with all of our defensive hackware, um, like, we don't really need the hub reduction either. It's probably not going to add much, if any. If you notice, a lot of the machines we're hacking, once we get detected, the trace chance is already, like, capped out at a fixed number. Which is cool, because it's really nice being able to use deterministic hacking. Pretty easy with advanced powered armor. You're probably right. But I think armor is, is the move here. Especially with the TR. Um, anything else worth repairing? Nope. I don't want to take off our large storage. Right. There's got to be a connection down here. Oh 
I got the traps. Twitch stalled out for you, had to pause and unpause. It's, it is annoying when Twitch does some of that stuff. All right. Um, let's get a tracking Trojan on here. Throw up the botnet. Um, let's get trap locations. Then I think I'm gonna save this for recalling Xterms for the moment. I actually just kinda wanna camp here. For the system restoration module. I'm gonna transmission jammer for a second. Oh my god, what if it rejected the transmission jammer? That would have been annoying. Watcher just wants to get killed, huh? Dude, are these guys gonna come through here? Has that been repaired yet? Oh my god, I gotta abuse my energy wells right now. Okay, it's been repaired. They can't come here. Yeah, we're, we're camping here to purge corruption. Um, yeah, I'll stay in my corner. Yeah, those programmers are in a annoying spot for us too, aren't they? I think they were about to use that hole. Jeez. Oh, shoot. That was dumb. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I forgot they were just going to go that way. Um, I guess we're fighting programmers. Yeah, even more corruption. Not bad. Two more corruption to purge and some Q thrusters to repair. What is this? Upper cave, so programmers won't come from there if we get X-terms, but they will come from here, which is fine. Oh, we have direct recall X-terms. Beautiful. Oh, I forgot about that. Huh, does that not go through walls? I think we were talking about that on NTF stream the other day. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, 
Maybe it's also walk distance? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. So many things in Cogmine are walk distance. This was pretty close, though. Uh-oh. Was I not punished for that? Incredible. That duelist is blind. That must have been an a, a reciprocal line of sight thing where I could see him, but he couldn't see us. So the downside of this is it's getting harder to recall X-Terms every time. So when we're fabbing later and we'll probably need to recall X-Terms a few times, it's going to be more difficult. I should probably just started fabbing now so we could wait while we're fabbing, but um, having such high corruption was going to be pretty annoying. I guess I can start moving to a fabricator now that I'm at 1%, which isn't too bad. Um, I wanted to check this terminal. It's gonna be in line of sight of this dude, so maybe we don't. Hmm, did I, did I use trap locations here? I did. Right, let's try to get over here. Oh, those Q caps. It's like hard light armor plating or something. Layered light armor plating.
I'll let us stay. I should be purging corruption right now. Fusion reactor. Make this watcher again. Oh shoot, I forgot about the fab network. Um, God, that's a lot of matter. I think I have to wait another 500 turns. We're not in position to get full value out of that. Which is fine. Unless I zip over here real quick and that's in a good spot. What are we fabbing this for again? Let's figure this out. I could fab three experimental hacking suites if we wanted. Then if I wanted to, how many slots do I have in my inventory that are free? I could dish the system restoration module. I like the plasma lance maybe? I could dish the mini fusion reactor now that we have a fusion compressor. So that's like three slots I could drop. Having two armors is kind of awkward, but I kind of have to for now until I can actually support the powered armor. I wonder if I do ditch the powered armor. It's something that we may not end up using all run, but if we do end up using it, it's going to be on the last map or the last depth. I guess I could use it sooner, actually. I just need to evolve more propulsion. Okay, we hold on to that. So that means I basically have three hacker slots I can upgrade and then three inventory slots I could fill up. That seems fine. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start fabbing now. Instead of spending more time on this floor. Mass is tight. Yeah, it's definitely tight right now. Um, I didn't put any Trojans on here yet except for report. Experimental matter compressor? Man, I feel like that's good to have in our inventory. If we're going to be relying on fusion compressors later for energy. But we'd have to carry that till end game. We have room for it. I'm going to build that. Um, also pretty good when going to Armory. I agree with that, too. Hey, what up, MTF? 
Um, build looks tight on or light on energy. Yeah, but that's just because I haven't equipped the fusion compressor yet. We're actually like very okay on energy if we wanted to be. I'm just being stingy at the moment. How much does this weigh? Five. We didn't, we didn't have enough um, system trace to load a new schematic there, so we're just going to keep fabbing those. Do I end up equipping more hackware and new slots next floor, or do we kind of stick with this stack for the rest of the game? I feel like I'd want like one more hackware slot in the long run, because I think having only five experimental hacking suites might fall a little behind by the time we're on minus two and minus one. So maybe I keep a hacking suite in... Well, I guess we figure that out later. We're going to have enough fabricating this depth that I can fill all these slots and then fab an extra one if I need to. Um, I don't know if we need multiple fusion compressors. One plus a mini fusion reactor is probably fine. Going zero power slots... And two improved fusion compressors is an interesting option just to save on mass, too. Although that doesn't really save us much mass, necessarily, but it gives us a lot more energy per mass. If we want that. Oh my god, we're getting unlucky with these fab networks. Armory better not do this to us. We first fabbed on 26048, less than like 80, like 70 turns later, we got locked out. Super unlucky. All right, let's ditch. Um, actually, I want to use a system restoration module and then we drop that. So I'm going to leave this on the ground until I can purge this last corruption we have. First fab lockout armory, dude, it happens to me more often than I would like. <laughs> I would not be surprised in the slightest. Uh, that is not a great recall exterm terminal. But it'll have to do. Can I lure my dude in here? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I think we just ditched this now. And slot in the transmission jammer full time for the time being. And... There's a slot to go and pick up. Oh my god, the swarmer's here now? So it ain't so. How close can I get to these guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. They're like gonna barely not see me if I go down there right now. Let's watch them for a minute. Oh my god, there's programmers coming too. See, these guys are camp in my fabricator. Um, this is pre-sensor nerf, but if we see long-range sensors, I'm going to put them on to pretend we're playing post-nerf. With the way our fabs are going, I'm not going to go out of my way to fab bad sensors, though. How has an engineer not fixed that wall yet? 
Uh oh. And more programmers when I'm blocked from my terminal. Oh, dude, they totally saw my friend. They're gonna assimilate him? That's fine, I guess. I would have liked to have him in armory, but... Seems okay. This wall is still not fixed. Where are the engineers on this map? Anybody? If I was MC, I'd be so pissed right now. Just count 20 tiles and pretend I don't see any of the information. Yeah, I like that. Let's just not act on any information that we know about if it's more than 20 tiles away. We can just like pretend we're playing on the, the nerf version. Oh. I didn't think I'd have an angle to them. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll walk around. Dude, they don't repair that other wall for hundreds of turns. I break one wall over here and there's five engineers, like, right there on it. Oh, we could hop the engineers. So, I don't know... There could be traps on all three of these tiles, based on the info I have. So, I actually didn't want to step on this tile either. I was going to break these three walls and go through. Um, I should actually pop this recycler for matter. I should pop a hauler for storage if I get the chance to. Alright, so simulate, track, trap locations. Let me get a zone layout. And a purge threat. Cool. Got armor with no alert. I grab security status. Oh, actually, we don't need that. We have sensors. Oh shoot, wrong terminal, oh well. Call the reinforcements, but I did want him to be our friend. That's too bad. Wait, what? Was that guy always there? Yeah, he was. How did I miss that? Was I just really not paying attention? Well, we were about to 
Make a mad rush into armory, so... Oh, it was the security intel. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Dude, I hate how it does that. It should definitely show the icon under the freaking sentry. Oh my god. I think I'm just going to barge in here anyways, now that this guy's following us too. Although I kind of want to repair this Q thruster. We can do that in armory. Hey, Senchai, thank you for the subscription. One month shy of a full year. That's awesome, dude. I appreciate it. Oh, um, oh there we go. I don't think I'm going to need energy, but let me take it real quick. What's the best way to do this? Something like this. I almost didn't get shot once, which would have been epic. Um, but getting shot at once and having it miss is pretty sweet. Oh, that's fine, Senjai. Lurkers are okay. I lurk a lot of streams too, so I understand. It's awesome that um, lurkers still like to give support like that, so I definitely appreciate that. Mmm, armory. Don't go in here too often, because um, this, this usually isn't like that high of a value of a branch. But this is pretty sweet. Like, it's rare that this actually is like the best thing to go into. Also, this shit. There are reasons we don't want to go in here. Totally a financial backer for the roguelike community. Long live the roguelikes. Hell yeah. I feel the same way. Ooh. Wait, there's two terminals in here? That's sweet. Simulate Trojan. Turn on my transmission jammer. All right, traps are dealt with. We have a teleporter so we can get to lab easily if we want to leave. If those are compact Teslas, start sterilizing. Hell yeah. <laughs> we could do flight stary. All right, Trojan track, index machines, Trojan botnet. I don't need to locate tracks with my, my or traps with my boy here. I'll take an operator's Trojan. Um, and let's see what our machine intel is. Okay, there's another terminal right here, which is awesome. Hell yeah, fabricators all over the damn place. Do we probably just like go right here, fab and repair stuff, and then get out of here? I don't think I want to wait for 500 turns here for like optimal babbing. I don't know if it even makes sense. Um, where are Holler Manifests? No Hollers in here. I didn't think there were. Any interesting stockpiles that are going to show up? Even though like none of the good stockpiles here show up, I don't think. No prototype stockpiles. We get another botnet here. No haulers to stare at fabs here, so you can't get locked out. Excellent. You get a zone layout too. Do I start fabbing here? It's going to start our clock for the lockout, but we are right next to the other fabricators. I think I will, just because.
Um, I guess I'll keep doing hackware for the time being. Especially since I got Tracer already. I was afraid of that. Hmm, that might make it difficult to get anywhere else. Which is kind of okay. I can probably just live with this fabricator and then leave. Although, no, we'll probably... Maybe I'll try and go up here. Because we're only going to get experimental hacking suites out of this fabricator. Bud. Can he see here? He totally can. Not like a room out here, right? No. Alright. That route is off limits, I think. these grunts going? Oh yeah, we're in armory, all right. Yo, don't open that door, dude. Chill. Yo, Misery, welcome. Uh, is that guy gonna see my operator? I'm actually concerned about being their like grunts being in this room. Well, I don't think any of these other doors opened. I guess I could have missed it. I can't attack him there. He might run to the door. All right, we can do this. Oh, happened anyways. Didn't get punished though. Never seen this one? Cogmine's sweet. If you like roguelikes, um, this one is highly recommended. Oh my god, it's just getting denser and denser with enemies. It's like they all started in their own little areas and they're all conversion on us. We may not spend much time on this floor because I don't think we can get out of the freaking spawn area. I'm glad we brought a teleporter. Um, I think Plasma Lance is low value. Because I think having a second Plasma Lance on our endgame bill probably doesn't change ha um, our outcome much over having one Plasma Lance. That's not true. Having extra melee weapons is always good, even without an Actuator. We, we, I think we keep the Plasma Lance if we can, but I'd rather take other late game stuff. So what else was I able to drop? Obviously we can take an item with us when we use the artifact. Or the teleporter. Oh, I was gonna ditch the backup mini fusion reactor. 
Where's the SB? Uh, we don't have it yet. Finding SB would be really sweet. Just because that's like the best armor we can get for our build. Alright, recall those programmers. I think I overfabbed hacking suites here. We're close to having a, f a clear path. So like maybe another terminal or a fabricator. All right, do I drop something for this? Um, I can actually fab something else right here. Considering I don't have a lot of... Is train scanning valuable? Oh, I forgot I still had this on, actually. That is taking up a... That's a wasted slot on our build right now. <laughs> I'm glad you pointed that out. Hell yeah, I can take that off then. It, it is valuable, and we'll probably use it eventually. But... I think I'd rather fab an experimental train scan processor. So the question is, do we use terrain scanning next floor? I'm probably going to go one prop, one utility again. At which point we'd probably end up using a fusion compressor full time. Which means we're going to be shy on utility slots for terrain scanning. Well, I do have the transmission jammer and that is equipped. I do want to equip another hacking suite. If we can. Probably don't need a hacking suite next floor floor and train scanning is pretty dope in research branches we're gonna be fine hacking so maybe i leave that on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fab um train scanner right now It's going to replace this. Which means I don't really have room next depth for more hacking suites. Unless I go two utility slots instead of a prop slot here. What does another prop slot get me? 48. Support. Five would have to go to the fusion compressor. 48 is what, a spare 16 compared to what we have now? So that'd be 11 spare for the fusion compressor. So that still means we can't equip advanced powered armor, unless I swap the fusion compressor. So another prop slot would let me use the powered armor when we need to use armor. So I can actually drop the light armor plating, which frees up a slot. In our inventory. I like that. Maybe we, we go one prop, one util. Okay. In which case, yeah, I don't have room for any hackware to go on next floor. That does mean I can drop the light armor plating. And take this hacking suite. Dude, armorless flight bot. Let's go. All in on the stealth. It's a train scanner. We're done here, right? There's We don't have room for more fabs. Um, I could try to fab a experimental transcan processor, actually. But I'd have to get to one of these fabricators. I think I'd rather just leave and not waste time here. I, mean, I could technically just camp here for a bit and see if we get an opportunity. 
<laughs> it's not freaking happening. Let's just go. <laughs> Look at this. So, so this is um, an armory floor. Well, actually, these rooms often connect. I might be able to sneak through here. That's a possibility. But I think we just go with this. Advanced train scan pressers is fine for now. I have a feeling I end up ripping this off at some point. Um, but it's a nice temporary thing to have. So let's just go with what we have now. So I'm standing on the train scanner. So it's going to follow with us when we teleport. Oh, dude, we could fabricate right here, actually. It's not like we actually have to leave the floor now. Hell yeah. I forgot about that. We maybe we should have maybe came out here sooner. Our prospects for like interacting with machines is way better than being stuck in that corner of the map. So now, yeah, let's start with the experimental train scan processor. Stasis projector? I don't think so. Get that out of my fabricator. Trojan track. Um, we actually don't need a botnet anymore. Uh, may as well. Take those zone layout. We definitely want traps. That's probably all we really want here. Let's grab the emergency access too. Um, this wow, that's actually the only fabricator on this half of the map. All the fabricators are right here. All right here in this corner. But we couldn't get there. Dude, I wonder if like this whole chunk of the map is like empty. It, it must be. Prototypes before you exit? That's true. Yeah, we may as well grab some prototypes. We could probably hit, hit up more fabs to do that, or s s terminals to do that. door terminals. Is this normally trapped? I forget. This sounds super intimidating to get into. Um, so, if you look at like the stats on parts, there's a lot of information, but you can actually get by without focusing on a lot of the information. And I think that's where the, I think it is super intimidating if you start looking at all these parts. Um, but I think for new players can avoid that. I actually have a, a guide for new players written that I need to upload online. But I've been having, I need to get my website up first and I've been delayed the past two weeks because my computer has been having issues. I've been trying to, fix that so it's been delayed but hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can actually get that online and then I think everyone might have hopefully a little bit easier time if they want to use that guide um, but it's really not too bad there's a lot of depth to the game but you don't have to use that until you're a little more advanced um, I I kind of talk about like some of the real in-depth details and stuff so some of the stuff I'm talking about is probably like sounds 
really complex, but it's like completely unnecessary. Yeah, and it's got a super helpful community, as like people are saying on Discord and stuff. Um, the Roguelikes Discord has a lot of knowledgeable people on it, and that's like the headquarters for Cogmine Discord talk. Um, also on my Discord, which I just dropped a link in the chat. There's a lot of people where myself will gladly answer Cogmine questions. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, if you have any specific questions, we'll be happy to, to try and answer them. But uh, I don't think it's quite as intimidating as it looks. But you may need a little bit of help to know like what to actually like pay attention to. Okay, so there's probably no traps here. We're playing a bit of a, a build that's a little more complex than it needs to be, too. We're really exploiting um, machine hacking and terminals and, and, and doing like some high-level optimization with our, our build. Uh, you can kind of just cruise around with guns blazing <laughs> and just shoot everything that you see. So many games you wish you could experience again for the first time. Yeah, I know that feeling. It's actually like impossible for me to put myself in the shoes of like someone playing NetHack for the first time. I feel like it's almost hard for me to give like new players advice because of that. At like certain kinds of advice. Um, is there anything else worth fabbing? I don't think we have room for anything. I could ditch the advanced energy well, and maybe we get an experimental one later, like in testing, if we see the, the pot cannon prefab. Fab a Q thruster to repair the damage one. That's actually not bad. Um, I think EM dispersion and what else was I just looking at? Focal shields are things that we could fab. If we can make room for them. We would probably carry them around for a while. Um, Sentry and Meteor Armor plating is intriguing here. But I think we talked ourselves into using Powered Armor instead of that. I wonder if it's worth using the lower rating Powered Armor because it's lower mass. What do those look like in comparison? This one has 60 less integrity. This one has another 60 less integrity. So 300 versus 180 integrity is a pretty big deal. Is 300 versus 240 integrity a big deal? To save three mass? Probably not. Yeah, imp improved is pretty efficient. This doesn't fab in pairs. I think one of the reasons people like regular powered armor a lot is because it does um, fab in pairs. Hmm. 
Hmm. So our late game build, I, I know it could support heavy regen if we really wanted to. It could definitely support two um, in, in century medium armor platings, which is 14 mass. So I guess advance is more than that. I think we do want improved power armor. This is super good if we find an IR too. I don't know if we're gonna end up with an IR or not. So maybe I go pull the schematic for that and fab it. Hey, Crackle Pappy, we're doing good. So I'm going to take that over the advanced. I still can't fit that on with our current propulsion. So we're still going to evolve a Q uh, prop slot. Um, God, is there anything else? We can't upgrade anything. Do I ditch the plasma lance? I think this is the lowest value because we might... There's two cases where we actually end up dropping this Plasma Lance anyways. If we find Citrus Broadsword, or if we get the, the Alien Artifact that lets us redistribute our prop slot, or all of our slots really. In which case I probably end up just sticking with one Plasma Lance anyways. So I think dropping this now actually is decent value because we might just end up dropping it later. Actually, you're right. We could just equip it for now. I have the support now that I have to use uh, more Q thrusters. That's a good point as well. For a while, I wasn't able to do that. Um, in which case, what do we want to fab to fill up that inventory slot? EM Dispersion is so tempting, but I think... Do we even end up carrying this late game? It's great if we run into programmers from Xterms and we don't have a, a terminal to get us out of that issue. Um, otherwise, we probably don't use this except for the Doom Corridor. And maybe we even have like Core Membrane or something by then. Like I feel like as nice as this is, with limited fabs for the rest of the game and limited inventory slots, we might end up going for something we were actually planning to use late game, which would be something like Experimental Focal Shield, I think we probably end up using late game. Or I could go with like Utility Shielding, which will definitely have late game as well. But we could like maybe find these on the ground. So let's give this more value now. Which is more matter? That's 285. Where'd that focal shield go? It's 384. I'm going to build a focal shield now. I think we're going to want one late game. Uh, this build did not get A7, so we're not going to mess around in lab. Although I'm tempted to get this um, bonk squad <laughs> and bring him to lab and let him beat up A5. We'd have to get scanned though, which I guess we don't want to do. Oh, did I not turn the fab on? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we will also build it. What is this endpoint? This is so weird. Why is there a corridor to an empty node with no other paths?
Tunneler's starting spot? Maybe. Are there Tunnelers on this map? I think there are. Actually. Uh oh. Programmers? Am I able to recall them? Oh, hell yeah, we can. I, I couldn't remember if there are greenies or not on this map, Kira Space. Decoy for the hidden lab. This lab is actually super easy to find. Lab is always in a one tile corridor. And this is the only place with a one tile corridor outside of these rooms. Pretty easy to find on this layout. Okay, focal shield built, and yeah, I guess we just go for the Q thruster. More proto hacks before we go. Can you keep doing multiple on the same terminal? Oh, I didn't realize that. For some reason, I thought I tried that before and it didn't work. Is that what it gave me before? No, yeah, I can just milk that terminal. Cool. We will do that shortly. For some reason, I thought I did that before. Are you just not allowed to do that on a terminals that have it as a direct hack? This might connect. We wanted to take a, a gander up here. And there's sentries up there. Why not? Get all the prototypes. Your chances of getting locked out are pretty low because of our defensive hackware. I only did one of those. MC, you can keep the other. Yeah, you can't get locked out the first time you pull something that can lock you out. That is true, Xylan. You think I can get to this terminal to do that as well? That's guarded by a sentry. We probably don't want to do that. Because I think I can get around these duelists by probably digging like this. Alright, let's get out of here. Not risking it. All right, I think we already decided one prop, one utility. Sweet, we are uh, on to research. What was I gonna equip here? Was I gonna put on a hacking suite now? I think we need the fusion compressor. I have to, I'm gonna have to micromanage it though. If you go fast enough, you can pro pretty reliably grab one item. Oh, do they always start in the same spots? So if you're fast, you can like run around them real quick. That's interesting. I wonder what speed you need to be, because I wasn't terribly fast. At 28 speed, every three moves or so, three to four moves, they're gonna start moving. And it probably takes like 30 moves or so to get in and out to grab anything useful. 
That's interesting. I should see where they start, though, because I thought one started, like, right near the entrance. That's, like, the problem, but I might be wrong about that. Hmm. Should figure that out. That's actually kind of useful intel. Damn, I wish um I wish you said something earlier. We probably could have looked at that right now and maybe tried to do it on stream. All right. Um, well, let's take a quick break here. Now that we're out of factory, these floors fly by a lot faster because we're not looping. There's less fabricators, and the floors are dangerous. Terminal incel is pretty sweet. Lots of level three terminals, and we have a lot of stuff we want to pull. So this should be a fun floor. Uh, but yeah, I will be right back. Um, this will be probably about a 10-minute break.